video on uh, installing GCC on your Windows. I'm going to show where to get the file, how to download it, and then how to set uh, the path variable so that you can actually find it anywhere on your PC. Now, uh, if you want to program in C or C++ or a bunch of other languages, you need a compiler. Um, GCC, the GNU C compiler, is the uh, compiler that I would suggest for Windows. And the first thing you need to do is go to the place where to download the installer. This uh, is sourceforge.net. Um, and if you open that, um, you get to a search field and you type min gw. And there's a bunch of confusing choices here. And what you want is the second one, MinGW W64 for 32 and 64 bit windows. And you click on that. Unfortunately, just downloading here is also not enough. You need to go to the Files tab. And in the Files tab, again, there's a bunch of different installers, but we don't want this one. We actually want to click on this second um, folder. And inside, inside this folder, we have an installer that we want to download. And so I'm going to go actually to this again um, from the beginning. So you search for MinGW. You take the second one, you go to Files. Inside Files, you go to this folder. Inside this folder, you finally find the installer. And you click on that, and this will now download. It takes a little while. It's a free site. But as soon as it starts, it should download. And uh, uh, I'm just going to put this. It doesn't actually matter where you put it. I'm going to put it in downloads. Um, probably have already one. And uh, yeah, I want to replace it. That's fine. And once this symbol here is no longer blinking, you know that the installation file is done. Now, this is an executable. You click on it, and it opens. And it'll ask you, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And you say, yes. And uh, then you are in the middle of it. You can shut down your browser. I didn't need that anymore. And here is the installation window. Um, and I'm not only going to go this to a particular place and then break off because I have already installed it. So um, what happens is you are suggested some settings and you leave those just like you leave all the settings completely untouched. So you most of the time just click on them next. Um, now, this is quite important for later. This is the path that you're going to try and find to the, um, to the uh, binary, the executable. You don't need to copy this from here because we are going to find it with the file explorer. And um, you can also click here, set shortcuts in start menu. That's fine. And then you click next. Um, and now it begins to download the file. Now, I don't want to do this actually. So I'm going to actually I can continue to do it. This takes a little while. This whole installation takes a little while. I don't want to do it. I'm going to cancel this here, uh, abort the installation. Uh, because I already have the file. So you run through, there's nothing that can uh, go wrong, really, um, unless you don't have a 64-bit computer, but you're likely to have one. And then you go to the File Explorer, you open the File Explorer, and you look for the file. That's the first thing you need to do. And um, we have it here um, in the C drive. You've got to find your C drive somewhere, somehow. And then you have a directory called Program Files X. 86, and you double click on that. And inside here, if the installation went fine and confirmed to you everything is installed, you can finish. You have a directory called MinGWW64. The MinGW, by the way, stands for the Minimal GNU um, Windows Compiler. So you double click on that. You get this long string. You remember this from the installation. You double click on that. You get another bunch of um, files. This is where you can uninstall it if you're done with all of that. I don't want to do this right now. You want to click on MingW32 and inside here you have a directory called bin and you click on that, double click on that. And this is the file that contains all the executables. So this is everything that you can do with this compiler. One of the files that's the only one we're going to use in this course is GCC. Um, now, what you want is go up to the navigation bar and right click on this last element of the bar. This is the path that we're trying to copy. And you copy this address as text. This is now in the clipboard. You don't need this any longer. And what you need to do is you need to go and open your path environment setting. 
you go to the window search bar, you type path, and you open edit the system environment variables. And uh, this menu appears. And inside, you find a button called environment variables. You click on it, you get another window. In this window, you go down to the path. You see it here, and you click on edit. And then inside here, you click on new and enter it. I'm just going to do this and then repeat the whole process. So you click new and then enter it here. And you don't actually need to see the whole thing, but just to check, this is enough. As soon as you see it here, you can just click OK and be done with it. You see I already have the path here, so you don't really need it, but it doesn't really do any harm. Um, I'm going to cancel this here. You would click OK, but I would just want to go through the whole thing again. Um, look for path with the system environment variable. The thing is still in the clipboard, open environment variables, go down to the path, edit it. And then you have this window where you can click new and in the new you enter control V, the path that is in your clipboard. And then you click okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this here. Okay, okay, okay. So now you need to test it. Um, the testing um, is uh, important. So test installation. Um, the quickest way to do this is by open a command line terminal on your computer and enter uh, command gcc minus minus version, which checks for the uh, version of the gcc compiler. And only if this uh, program can be found, you actually stored it in the path. So we're going to go down here. Either you have it, you should actually have the com command terminal here in your taskbar, but if you don't, you can click on the search bar and type CMD, open the command prompt, uh, terminal will open here. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And now the test is GCC minus space minus minus version. So check uh, which version the C GCC compiler is. And if you enter, you should see something like that. That's the proof that you have it. Um, I'm going to, uh, you're going to use this in class. So if you have a little um, C program, uh, you can uh, already try to compile this, but this is uh, all you need for now. We're going to go in another video, we're going to look at running a C program inside an org mode file. For that, we need a little more setup. So I'm going to stop this video here.